Thanks for tuning in, guys and gals. So we've had a lot of good times with the AGT Uragan. And now it's time for the Uragan 2. So the Uragan 2 comes in a bunch of awesome new colors. You got red, green, walnut, synthetic, and the top one is the carbon fiber. This is a real carbon fiber stock, so it's super light. If you guys don't know about the Uragan, it has a level of accuracy where they all blur together, where like you can't really get any more accurate, so you're not going to find a more accurate air gun. The other thing that's amazing about the Uragan is that in 22 caliber, it gets like 220 shots, I believe. And that's not sub-12 foot-pounds. That is full high-power, 900 foot-per-second shots, 220 of them regulated. So that right there is amazing. If you want a hunting rig that's super light, it's a bullpup configuration, so it's compact. So I got a compact gun right here with a 700 millimeter full length barrel. And it's as accurate as you'd ever want it to be. The carbon fiber Uragan 2 is going to be the gun you want to go for. So we're going to get an up close look at this thanks to Tony over there at Talon Tunes. We'll test the accuracy, test the power. Here we go. All right, the Uragan 2 is a high end air gun, but it's worth every penny. It's available in 177, 22, 25, or 30 caliber. For the barrel length, you can get a 600 or 700 millimeter barrel. Stock's available in laminated red, laminated green for the zombie apocalypse. Carbon fiber, which is going to cost you a little bit more, but boy, that is one awesome rig. Synthetic and walnut. As well, the Ergen 2 Compact, it comes in 177-22 caliber. All the same stock options. There's basically one called the Compact and the Compact Prince. Looks like the Compact and the Prince are both going to have 360 millimeter barrels. But the difference in those two is the Compact is going to have a 210 cc bottle. And the Prince is going to have a 420 cc bottle. So a little more shot count with the Prince. Shot capacity, as in how many shots you can fit in the magazine, is going to be 15 shots in 177. 12 shots in 22 caliber, 10 shots in 25 caliber, and 9 shots in 30 caliber. We're testing out the 25 caliber today. Oh, I did almost forget. There's the Urgan King, or the Urgan 2 King, is available and it has two tanks. All right, so if you want the super high shot count, you need to go with a 600 millimeter. I believe the 700 millimeter is probably more of a power tune. So it's listing the 600 millimeter shot count as 220 shots in 177. 170 shots in 22 caliber, 110 shots in 25 caliber, and 60 shots in 30 caliber. With a 700 millimeter barrel, your numbers are a little bit different. I believe 177 doesn't come in 700 millimeter. But with the 22 caliber, you're looking at 110 shots per fill. The 25 caliber, you're looking at 80 shots. And the 30 caliber, 50 shots per fill. So the 700 millimeter might be a little more of a power tune. But I'm sure they're all going to be shooting perfectly. Shots per fill on the Prince and Compact. The Compact's going to get 130 shots per fill in 177, 95 shots per fill in 22. The Prince with the larger tank, same short barrel, going to get 250 shots in 177, 180 shots in 22 caliber. So I know that's a lot of numbers and models, but lots of good choices if you're looking to add an Urgan to your collection. And like I say, even if you bought this for your first PCP, I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Right, Bugaboo? Hell no! All right, I went ahead and set up with the Ur again. I had my little foot compressor keeping everything going. And it was a rainy day. We're going to test all these pellets. These are the new Atomic pellets, which are basically Hades, but a slightly different weight. They're 26.6 grain. Then we got good old FX 25.4 grains. And we got the JSB 25.39 grains, as well as the MK2 33.95 grain. We got some 34 grain FX in there too. As well, we got some JSB knockout slugs that are also right around 34 grains. But first off, I wanted to see how fast these are flying. First up, we got the 25.39 grain. And at 1,041 feet per second, these are actually one of the most accurate pellets. Now an almost identical pellet, this is the FX brand, 25.4 grain. 1,046 feet per second, these were also really accurate. I believe these are a couple grains heavier than the Hades. These are 26.6 grain FX atomic pellets. These pellets also grouped well. 
Now we're getting into the heavier pellets with the JSB MK2s. Coming in at a very special 960 feet per second. That tells me this gun was tuned to shoot 34 grains. Although I experienced great accuracy with the 25 grains as well. And here's a couple shots with the FX 34 grain. They're flying almost exactly the same speed. Although this gun does not like this particular 34 grain, the FX brand. I will tell you what it does like though. These knockout slugs are awesome. So these shoot just as good a group as any of the pellets. No flyers. Check out this noise. I just left the shroud off. We got the LDC going right on there. Sorry about the mess. So this is pretty cool. That was cool, but I kind of like it with the shroud and the LDC on there, so it kind of like masks the power, and I think it's a little bit smoother of a shot too. All right, I'm gonna shoot a few groups with the shroud only. No LDC. We're at a very special 36 yards, close enough. We're going to start off with the lightweight JSBs, 25.39 grain. Here we go. All right, I just fired three from the magazine, 25.39 grain. Let's do an official group. Obviously, I needed to come over a little bit, which sometimes happens when you change your elevation <laughs> bullseye is gone so I am going to click over a teeny bit alright I got 5 in the magazine FX 25.4 grain darn it I hate it when that happens now I got nothing to aim at well I guess I can try to Try to use the force. I need a, something to aim at. What's cool, you can top your magazine off, so I'm just gonna pull my magazine and load the three more. Damn it. <laughs> Let's aim at the hole. Still one dead bullseye, unrecognizable. Okay, so. All right, we have three in the magazine to sight in with, and then I get five shots. So let's see where we hit here. And these are traveling at 1,020 feet per second, which is still a little too fast, so. They are, this gun's tuned for heavy pellets, 34 grain variety. I'm gonna go for this black dot right here. That's fine, we'll try those again when we get to 50 yards. All right, now we have the FX 34 grain from the mag. I'm going to shoot at this hole right here. Wow, pretty close. Pop a couple bullseyes real fast. This one will do fine. Oh, can't tell where I'm at. Now, I do recall that it did not like these FX. Darn it. Not confident on that last shot, that's for sure. Do over. Might as well make it a 10 shot group. No, I'm gonna do one more. 
So, as I said, it doesn't like those pellets. All right, my scope cam does stats, so we're gonna do one of these numbers. We got an MK2, let's see where we hit. Let's put it through the same hole. All right, that's close enough. I need to relax a little bit, I think I'm trying too hard. <laughs> oh my, no, it's not me. There we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, let me set in for these. Smurfic. I haven't shot a PCP in over a month. So I wasn't shooting perfect this day, but here's the official route for the MK2. Yeah, that's grouping well. Those are grouping good. So, the MK2s. Now, I would like to sight in and blow out a bullseye with these right now because I did test these yesterday and these are good. They don't, sh you don't get flyers with those. 34 grain knockout slugs, here we go. 200 bar. Awesome group though. Okay, so let me see if I can go. All right, now I'm probably at like 195 bar, 195 bar. Do five more. On the actual bullseye. Do one more, even though that was five through two holes. Yeah, no flyers with these uh, knockout slugs. Awesome. Oh wait, I do have to take care of some business. Hold on. There's a little target shooting to demonstrate what happens when you combine the power of a 25 caliber pellet going over a thousand feet per second with extreme accuracy. All right, first things first. That was so cool. Punching holes in it. There we go, now let's send it on a journey. There we go, that's what I was looking for. All right, and these do have to go in a certain order. This guy's due. Oh, two with one shot, that was sweet. <laughs> that guy launched way up sideways because I hit him right in the nose. Oh, that was sweet. Right in the ear. Awesome, the only one left standing is my dog. By the way, I did give this gun a good cleaning before I shot it. The shroud was on there pretty tight, but you just turn it counterclockwise to get it off. And sorry that last shooting segment was out of focus. Here's another one. These are with the 1,040 feet per second, 25.39 grain pellets at 36 yards. This is attempt number one, and I just did a one-shot sight in, so I wasn't really sighted in. I should not have attempted to shoot that pellet out of that 3 8 inch hole right there, but I did. All right. Get some crazy shots here. Damn it. Damn it.
This is a lot of power. That's why it's making those cowboy sounds. Oh, we lost a penny on that guy's hand. So I know I hit the penny because we heard that ricochet sound. I guess the shrapnel took this guy's fingers off, which is unfortunate. But he is a professional stuntman, so he knew the risk when he was hired for this video. So attempt number two went a little bit better, but I was still too patient to properly sight in, and I missed the trick shot again. shoot his hand off if I wanted, but he needs his hand. He's already missing one. Oh, I shot too fast, darn it. We do need to get onto our 50 yard target shooting. <laughs> so awesome. You get a really awesome padded case that's going to protect your gun. As well, the inside has Velcro straps to hold everything in place. Very handy. Although it doesn't need it with the volume of that giant shroud, it comes with an LDC. You're going to get all kinds of goodies with your Talon Tunes Uragan, including this badass moderator. So your gun's already quiet, but if you want to be just like a whisper quiet, you got an extra moderator to add on there. Get yourself a keychain. A little device to measure your groups, two magazines, Talon Tune stickers, some cards, and a book of matches with pellets on it. So, some pretty awesome stuff. As well, you're going to get a test group that Tony shot. First class service from Talon Tunes. You're also going to get this badass gun mat. So, it unrolls, it'll uh, hold your ur again on there. Keep it safe while you're working on it. So, you get that as well. It's got exploded views of all the AGT guns, the Vulcan, the Vixen, and the Ergan too. And boom, there it is. It fits your whole gun on there. The safety on the Ergan too is something definitely got to mention. It's ambidextrous, so you can operate it from the right or left. And it's just awesome. It's super smooth, and it's just super easy to hit it with your finger. And it's got a red dot inside that's actually like anodized aluminum. It's pretty sweet. Another awesome feature is that when you're out of ammo, the bolt locks open. So you're firing away and I thought that was an awesome feature. So you're never going to waste your air taking a shot with no pellet. So the charging handle on this bad boy just goes like cock like that and then nice and smooth back. Two stage trigger I'm sure, but there's your first stage. Ooh. It's 2.5 ounces right there. So you got your first stage right there, and then just beautiful. The trigger on the Oregon is so nice, and here's the official reading on that. Just 2.5 ounces. Great for target shooting. Here's a full shot string starting at 250 bar, all the way down to about 140. And I'm using the FX 25.4 grain pellets. Very consistent regulator action going here. Seemed like 90% of my shots were either 1057, 1058, or 106. Very consistent regulator. So we got this many good shots per fill before it fell off the regulator around 150, 140, some, somewhere in there. So an awesome regulator is just one of the many reasons that the Urgan is a top-of-the-line PCP air rifle. I do have to cut this video off here because it's already Friday afternoon and I need a video for this weekend. So I'm not going to leave you guys hanging though. Tomorrow I'm going to film 50 yard and beyond accuracy testing with the Urgan 2. And I'll probably just post that next week. So for sure you guys are going to see that straight away. Alright, thanks for tuning in. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, first look at the Ergan 2. Till next time, happy shooting. We'll see you in the next one.